Hey you guys, it's Dr. Hyena and today I'm just going to be adding some finishing touches to this lioness. Uh, consider this kind of like a little teaser for the upcoming online courses on uh, how to draw animals and such and uh, how to paint them too. So yeah, alright. Uh, let's see, so I noticed right now uh, she's like quite yellow. It's not as yellow as the camera is picking up, but you know, it does give you a good idea of, um, you know, like it could use some improvement in that regard. And what I like to do for that is uh, get some of that yellow ochre. Uh, that's the main color I, I use to paint this, as you could probably imagine. Uh, and then really water that brush down. Get a, just a bit of burnt sienna. One more. All right, and then make sure that's very watered down. And then this is how you change the uh, sort of tint of a painting. So you can just go in like that. It's not gonna look a whole lot different at first, but over time it does add up quite a bit. Yeah, let's even put some more just to like make it really pop. Let's put even more. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now we've got more of like an orangey tan color. And it is still very, very watered down because we're just adding like semi-transparent sort of washes over the top just to adjust the color itself uh, rather than adjust the whole painting. In fact, if you wanted to get real brave, what you could do is like, just get like just the burnt sienna and like really water that down. And like, go like that. Which, as you can see, does work. So yeah, I mean, just depends on what, how much you want to like, um, you know, how much more orange you want your lioness to be, uh, or whatever big cat you're painting for that matter, or an animal in general, really. Like this works for you know any animal, or just any art piece in general. Um, yeah, you know, that's why it's not like part of the paid course. Because it's just, you know, sort of a general art tip I want to give to you guys. So already that's looking quite a bit better. Um, you know, less like yellow. Let's add some color over here actually since like this wasn't supposed to be left out. Not a ton, but just enough to show that that, you know, that cheek is there.
So I'm not gonna do this to the whole thing, but just the areas that I sort of wanna like really warm up. Cause you know, it is nice to have some variation uh, in your work. Also, I didn't mean to mix that there, that was by accident. Basically what happened was I just washed the, um, the mixing part of the palette. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna make another uh, wash over there. So you know, I guess if anything, this video is kind of just to show you um, how much like little changes can do to your artwork and how beneficial they can be. Oops. And don't worry about that. That's how you mostly get rid of watercolor that you don't want. Not entirely, but eh, mostly. Then if you wanted to like add a background color, you'd not be able to see that at all.
All right, just in that short amount of time, we've added some warmer tones so it doesn't look all um monochromatic. Now I'm just blending out a little, just sort of the finer things, you know? All right, hope that uh, taught you guys something. See you in the next one. And I hope you guys buy my online courses when they come out. See ya.